Manipur government has recognized traditional Lairum fee as an official stall gifted to dignitaries on special occasions. The state government accorded a warm welcome to Prime Minister Narendra Modi by garlanding him with Lairum fee during one of his visits in Imphal. Nation witnessed Prime Minister Modi wearing Lairum fee during announcement of second phase of lockdown in view of the COVID-19 pandemic. Manipuri traditional cloth Lairum fee, which is one of the important assets of the state, is being produced on a large scale by a textile manufacturing company based in Barabanki of Uttar Pradesh under the name Modi Gamcha. A video coverage by ANI on weaving of plagiarized Lairum fee on power loom went viral on social media recently. People and weavers of the state are disheartened and disappointed over the incident. <laughs> Not only the livelihood of local Lairum fee weavers is at stake, but the state's ancient heirloom is being exploited by outsiders. Though exact reason is unknown, it may be surmised that such mass production of Lairum fee in Uttar Pradesh started after the Prime Minister wore Lairum fee during announcement of lockdown phase 2. Lairum fee is now available online and in markets across the country. People are concerned whether the state government and directorate of handloom and textiles have failed to obtain geographical indications GI tech of the state's gem. Meanwhile, Handloom and Textiles Director K. Lamli Kame yesterday notified the Development Commissioner for Handloom's Ministry of Textiles Government of India, proclaiming that Lairum fee is the original and unique traditional fabric of the state and appealed to take necessary actions against cultural plagiarism and exploitation. The indigenous Lairum fee has been in existence in the state since the reign of King Loyumba from 1074 to 1112 AD. It is high time for the state government to take necessary measures to preserve the state's indigenous clothes. This is Ibetoi Tokchom for Impact News reporter R.C. Mangangcha and camera person Iron Mocha, Impact News, Imphal.